Hey, Crosspoint family. Here we are, day 11 of our 21 for 21 days of fasting and prayer. We find ourselves today in a very familiar chapter to many of you, John chapter 11. This is where Jesus raises Lazarus from the dead. There's so much going on in this chapter, but I want to try to focus on a couple of aspects of that, of that miracle of raising Lazarus from the dead. You see, Martha and Mary have already pleaded with Jesus. Uh, Martha has uh, exposed her faith as well, where she's confessed that uh, Jesus is the Messiah. Mary's plea was so emotionally moving to Jesus that this is where we find that most famous passage to anybody who has ever memorized scripture, John chapter 11, verse 35, where Jesus moved by compassion on Martha, seeing her pain uh, and her agony. It says that Jesus wept. He wept alongside of her. Um, he felt her pain much the same as, as she was experiencing that pain. But we look at the miracle, and while Jesus certainly has the power to do this miracle all by himself, he actually chooses to work in a way that requires participation from those around him. See, the first thing he does is he tells them to remove the stone. So roll the stone away. Then he calls out to Lazarus, and Lazarus comes out as uh, Jesus tells him, but he's still bound up in his death clothes. Um, so G Jesus turns to those around him and says, remove those death clothes and set him free. See, we see right here in action uh, how Jesus wants to work in our life. See, maybe you have a dream or desire that you thought was long dead, and Jesus is asking you to roll that stone away so that he may call that out. Maybe Jesus will put somebody in your life uh, to help remove some of the barriers to that so that that dream can be set free in Jesus and can flourish. Um, ultimately, this is exactly what discipleship looks like. You see, we trust Jesus. We look around for those that we can help point to Jesus and maybe help them experience the freedom that we find in Jesus. Keep leaning in, Cross Point family. Uh, keep trusting the Lord and uh, hang in there for the rest of these 21 days and we expect God to do great things. We love you. We're praying for you. Have a blessed day.